Welcome back to So This Is Thailand. Coming up now is our expert advice with someone who uh, I'm very familiar with. I've had him on a show before, Kun Denai Jan Chao Chai, who is the CEO of DC Consultants and DMG Books as well. And all of you Thais who may be watching may be familiar with all the books he's written about Dhamma as well. So Kun Denai, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Swadikap Kun Johani, Kun Tara. Well, today we're talking about meditation, and I know that a lot of foreigners who come to Thailand hear about it, hear about the benefits, and, mm -hmm. and, but may not know how can they go about learning from that very beginning. Okay, well, just uh, simply put, it's like an exercise for the mind. You know, normally we have a workout. Do you, do you work out? I try. Okay, <laughs> we work out. Yeah. Okay, that's for, for the physical body. But for the mind, we also need to uh, work, work out to make mm -hmm. it clean, make it healthy, and make it fresh. And the benefits will be that uh, we have a healthy, healthy body, we have a healthy mind, and we are able to have better concentration. So uh, talking about the benefits first. Yes. Right. Um, is meditation always linked to Buddhism, or are they kind of two separate things that it can... It is very much uh, related to Buddhism, but now mm -hmm. I think that it's more universal. So mm -hmm. you don't have to convert to be Buddhist in order to meditate, no. You can, you know, continue to be what, whatever religion that you believe. Now, for everyone who's watching, I know a lot of people think that meditation actually needs to be done at, let's say, a temple or a meditation retreat. Mm -hmm. Is this the case? That's uh, partly true. All right. In the beginning, we need to study properly, like going to school uh, to study alphabets A, B, C, D. But once we understand, we can read the books anywhere. It's the same as meditation. Once we understand the technique, you know, we can practice meditation anywhere and anytime as long as we are still breathing. Now the problem is most people are not aware that we are breathing in and breathing out. You know, actually we only breathe, uh, we only live with one breath, in or out. You can try, you can inhale and not, not exhale. I only ask for four minutes, you know. Mm. You know, we were going to pass, we were going to die. So, you know, the, the breath is actually the background of our life. Uh, the, the breathing is actually like the, the corridor or the path to sati, mindfulness. All right, so meditation normally starts with uh, breathing, or in Pali term we call anapanasati, breathing in and breathing out. And if we, mm -hmm. if we notice, you know, uh, human beings or animals with long life, the quality of breathing is quite slow, you know, deep breathing deep breathing. When we are not healthy, when we are nervous, you, when you have something you are so serious about, so concerned about, you notice your own breathing is not mm. normal. You right. have a short, short breath and that's very bad to health. So mm. meditation actually uh, has a direct benefit, direct impact to better health. Mm. Ah, so when you um meditate, what other benefits, uh, apart from better health, what, what other benefits can it bring? Okay, you are uh, 10 to 15 years younger. You have like the anti-aging, you know, uh, coming out from the mind. Because, you know, uh, oxygen kills, you know, the, the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's uh, the benefit of oxygen. And when we inhale deeply, exhale, you know, slowly, we are able to uh, make sure that our body system, you know, actually is working at the optimum level. That's the benefit to health first. And then uh, to the other aspects of life, we are able to be uh, concentrating more, you know, we are more focused. You know, mm -hmm. we, when we read, you know, we understand more you, and we, we spend less time. Because the problem we have actually is the challenge is that uh, no matter how rich or how poor, no matter what occupations we are in right now, we all have 24 hours a day. So those who can manage, you know, uh, manage our life better, you know, be able to concentrate with the portion of life we have, 24 hours a day, of course, you have to be a happier person, a healthier person. Okay. So that's, that's are the benefits. How? So to someone who might say, oh, I'm very, very busy, you know, with my 24 hours, um, how do you suggest that they start or what portion of time do you find to do this? Okay, the first question to, to ourselves is, are we too busy to breathe? <laughs> you know, because no matter what we do, we, we sleep, 
mm. we are still breathing we eat we walk we work we dine and you know whatever we do as i said breathing is the background so you know get into the practice get into the habit habit of practicing it and once it, it becomes automatic it's like you drive a car or you ride a bicycle you don't need to you know pay too much effort and attention it's like once you jump jump on on a bicycle you can easily ride it you know once you get into the car you can easily uh, drive the car without having to think about it so get into that habit first is is this something that if let's say i'm here with my family is it something that the kids can enjoy or is, do you need to be more mature, more, more older? The kids will be very quick to learn. Mm. It's like swimming. Mm. Like, you know, we, we, like, have, you, have you seen the, the, the video about the, the young mom, uh, the, the, the mother teaching the, the newborn babies to swim? Mm. They have like uh, some... Uh, it's like it, a natural instinct. Na natural mm. instinct to swim. It's the same as breathing. So it's great for all ages and everyone can benefit from it? Certainly. I can understand that. I mean, especially if you have a very stressful life, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, just learning how to breathe, take that time to relax. Mm -hmm. and, and stress is actually, as you mentioned before, is there are direct negative health risks from, from stress itself. So yeah. I can see how meditation would be great. Certainly, certainly. <laughs> okay, so once you have started with the breathing, then, then what? And what what exactly? What's the next step? Yeah, yeah. what's the next step up the ladder? Okay, actually, it's like it's like a keep 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 on doing this, keep on doing this. There will be no next step, because it's like you you always count one, one and one and one and mm. one. But the the trick is the trick is, be happy, be happy that we are still have the have the breath, that you know the minute we we the moment we get up in the morning, oh. Thank, thank, thank mm -hmm. God, we are still breathing. You know, mm -hmm. thank, thank it because we are still living. We are still breathing. So mm -hmm. there's no next step. Just keep on doing that. So the trick is, don't, don't try too much. Don't try too uh -huh. much because some people say that how come they they can get rid of all the thoughts that mm -hmm. are kept, kept coming to the mind. So the the technique is, you know, don't don't be concerned about the thoughts that you have. Just be happy that you are able to be able to breathe by your own self and just starting with that basic that basic behavior that basic step all the others will kind of come naturally if mm -hmm. you just focus on the breathing you won't have to think about actually meditating you will already be doing it that's right you know you know why because most people are living in the thinking mode we think all the time think 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 mm -hmm. but once we are aware aware of our breath we are automatically uh, withdrawing ourselves from the thinking mode to the knowing mode so when we think, we don't know, and when we know, we don't think. It's on the opposite side. Okay. Yeah. So um, where can we find more info about uh, meditation or meditation retreats? Thailand is a very uh, rich country, you know, where, yes. where we teach a lot of meditation. You can go to many temples. You can contact the Young Buddhist Association of Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can go to the south of Thailand, to Suratani, Suan Mo whereby they have uh, English monks to teach meditation. And of course, at my own office, every Tuesday and Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m., mm. we have meditation classes, but mostly are in Thai language. Uh, That's another good reason to learn Thai, but <laughs> also to, to start learning meditation as well. Indeed, yeah. Well, Kundanai, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we look forward to having you back here, because I know you are just a wealth of knowledge on, on everything, uh, you know, from meditation to to Buddhism, to Dhamma, it's, it's I'd it's be happy great. to. Thank you so much. Yeah. But for everyone watching, don't go away because coming up we have the expat travel picks. Don't go away. Museum Siam presents history from the past until the present. For whoever wants to discover culture, history, or the nation, Museum Siam is the answer. Let's go check it out. Located on Sanam Chai Road, just behind Wat Po Temple, this location used to be the former building of the Ministry of Commerce. The museum aims to make an understanding on Thai history, nation, culture and localities, plus neighboring countries with the contents on display in the form of the Essays on Thailand. The expedition is split into 16 rooms in the three-story building as follows. 
first floor exhibits the story on immersive theater and typically Thai. The second floor exhibits the story on Map Room, Bangkok, New Ayutthaya, Village Life, Change, Politics and Communications, Thailand and the World, Thailand Today, and Thailand Tomorrow. The third floor exhibits the story on introduction to Suvarnabhumi, Buddhism, founding of Ayutthaya, Siam, and the War Room. With signboards displaying explanations in both Thai and English, it allows for local and foreign visitors to gain a comprehensive insight into the history of Thailand, or Siam, as it was previously known as. Designed with children in mind, there are many exhibits with interactive features and video presentations to engage visitors of all ages. The concept of this museum is education through self-discovery. Audio-visual displays with interactive touchscreens allow visitors to find out for themselves. Visitors are permitted to handle some exhibits or even try them on. Wow, I learned so much about Thai culture today. The exhibition here is great. I'm really glad I now know why Thailand is the way it is. It really caught my interest for the Thailand history and the Thai culture. I'm really looking forward to learn more about it. This is Anne and Anna from Expat Travel Pick and we're gonna see you again tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>